Hello everyone, welcome back to another C language tutorial. And this time I'll be making a random password generator with time as well as the random function. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to ask the user, oh, I'm in caps lock, okay. Ask the user, whoops, alright. How many characters do you want in your password? So what this is going to do, this program is going to do, is we're going to ask the person for the number of characters in their password, and then we're going to make that many random characters and place them into a string, then push that string back out as an output. So scanf an integer, let's call it the desired, wait, we have to do the and sign, desired number. All right, we're not going to shorten it this time since that might be a bit confusing. So now what we've done is we've asked the question. Let's put uh, enter there. We've asked the question and then we got the answer back. And we're going to put that into a variable desired number. And what you guys might know is that we can just make an array for the final result. Let's call it char password we have to make it below because we don't know how long it's supposed to be yet char password and we're going to do desired number so that's how long it's going to be since um that's how it works because this is where you declare the size of the string or the array and let's continue now what we have to do is use a for loop to go through every one of the um, places inside of this password string and then we're going to put in a random character for each of them so let's see int i equals zero i is less than desired number i plus plus so this is going to go from the zero with power zero with index in the string to the desired number minus one place in the string and based on a bit of earlier takes that I did we have to do minus one here because that is actually the final place inside of the string and then when we print it out later you'll see what I mean so what we're gonna do is um, password I we're gonna make that equal to some value and it's gonna be random so um, password i index will be random. All right, that's a comment. And how we do that is we use the rand function. But first of all, we need to select the characters that we're going to be using in order to create the password. So let's make it up here. Char. Um, let's call it alphabet the alphabet that we're going to use equals let's see we can have the entire keyboards characters all right so that's all the letters and let's do the uppercase versions all right and we don't have much room left on the screen cuz i made the font bigger in the last video so you guys can see better, but that's one downside. We can't type as many things, but that might be just enough to demonstrate. So we have QWERTY, everything, and then uppercase, lowercase. What we're going to do is we're going to use the RAND function along with um, modulo. So alphabet, oh, cap locks, okay. Caps lock, I mean, all right, alphabet. Okay, let's see. So the index is very important here. This is the most confusing part. We're going to do rand and divide that by, oh, not divide, mod by um, the string length of the alphabet string. So how we do that, string length is another function. 
So we have to include string dot age and string dot age. So sterlen and put in uh, alphabet. So what this does is basically it gives you back the length of this entire string. So that's going to be like 52 or something. Actually, it is 52 because the alphabet has 26 letters and then uppercase also has 26. But string length makes it so that we don't have to count it in case we do have a really long string. Okay, rand. So rand, we have to use a special function at the start. And first of all, we're going to include a library, time.h, like last time. So what we're going to do is have to make a seed for the random function. So S stands for seed. And the seed for the random function is very similar to, for example, a seed in Minecraft. Like if you put it in a different seed, then you're going to get a different shaped map with different structures and different biomes in different locations. So it's very similar for S rand. We have to put in a seed for the random function to make it so that it creates a different set of random numbers every single time we run the program. So time null will accomplish that because the time is always changing. So if we run this at like 8 o'clock today, then it's going to have a different result from let's say like 8.30 today. So that's why we do it. Now rand is different every single time, and this is the correct indexing. So now we're going to print it out, print f, percent sign, no, s, all right, that stands for a string, and it's going to be password. All right, let's see if there's anything wrong, nope, all right, let's do it, run. All right, let's say 10 for now. Okay, so we have a problem. All right, so we uh, the issue is we have a strange kind of um, hashtag here, or the pound sign, and it appears after the 10 characters, so we have to fix that. And how we do that is, let's see. All right, so this is the result of having an empty place at the end of every single string. So that's kind of like how C language just automatically does things. So what we're going to have to do is print them out one by one. But luckily, oh, whoops. OK. So that went off the page, let's put it down here. All right, so we're gonna just print it out right here when we make it uh, the random character. So, percent sign C actually. And it's gonna be password I. Now we won't have that same problem because we're just only printing out from zero to the desired number. Now let's see what happens. All right, let's say 10 again. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's a pretty good password. And if you want to like make it more complicated, you can just um, print in like, I mean, input in a larger number, let's say like a thousand. And there, it took 3.659 seconds to get that. So you can make a pretty secure password and then you can put in some like um, characters like weird stuff um, like these things you know all that stuff but that is how you create a password generator in the C language and then have it print back out the number of characters that you want so thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time